OK, in this pulley problem, we've got a particle of mass 5 kilos slides on a smooth plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. The particle is connected to a particle B of mass 2 kilos by a light inextensible string passing over a smooth peg. The system is released from rest. First of all, find the acceleration of each particle. OK, so this is my diagram. OK, here's particle A on the slope. Particle B is hanging freely. So let's add in the forces. So for particle A, we've got the weight working vertically downwards. It's got a mass of 5 kilos, so its weight is 5g. So if I complete that triangle, we're going to have 5g, so that angle's 30 degrees, 5g sine of 30, and 5g cosine of 30, OK, for the opposite and adjacent to the triangle. There's going to be a normal reaction force, R. There's going to be a tension in the string. For particle B, there's that same tension in the string. And working vertically downwards is its weight. So it's got a mass of 2 kilos, so its weight is 2g. Acceleration-wise, um, the slope is smooth. A is heavier than B, and so we're going to be accelerating down the slope and B is going to be accelerating vertically upwards. OK, so that's the situation as it stands. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at resolving A parallel to the plane, and B we're going to resolve vertically, OK? Looking at its resolving in the direction of motion. So if I look at particle A and I resolve parallel to the plane, taking down the plane as positive, OK, the positive direction. I've got the weight 5g sine 30. OK, I've got the tension working against me. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, so 5a. That gives me equation number one. Let's now have a look at particle b. For that, I'm going to resolve upwards, taking upwards as positive. So I've got the tension working upwards. I've got the weight working downwards. And that's going to be equal to the mass times acceleration. There's your equation number two. So if I add those two equations together, it's going to knock out the tension. And I'll be left with 5g sine 30 take away 2g is equal to 7a, adding those two together. So, using g, taking g as 9.8, 5 lots of 9.8 times sine of 30 uh, is 49 halves. Take away 2 lots of 9.8 is 49 tenths. And then I want to divide that by 7 to get the acceleration. So a is 0 0.7 metres per second per second. OK, so that's the acceleration. Now, with the acceleration found, so that's the 0 0.7, I can then find the tension in the string by substituting back into one of the two equations. So if I substitute back into B, uh, or number 2 rather, then the tension is equal to 2 lots of G plus 2 lots of A. So 2 lots of 9.8 plus 2 lots of 0 0.7 gets me 21. So the tension is 21 newtons. OK? Right. So, with that done, I can now solve part C. So, I want to find the speed of the particle of particle A, sorry, speed of particle A, after it has travelled 7 metres, assuming the string is long enough to allow for this. OK. So, that means we're going into SUVAP. So we want to travel 7 metres. Now, the initial velocity, the system is released from rest, so the initial velocity is 0. The final velocity I don't know. That's the one I want to find. The acceleration I know is 0 0.7. I don't know the time, and I don't want the time. So I want the equation that doesn't have time in it, which is the fifth equation for SUVAP. So v squared is equal to u squared, which is 0, uh, plus 2 lots of a times s. So two lots of 0 0.7 times 7. 
So 2 times 0 0.7 times 7 is 9.8. So V is the square root of 9.8, which is 7 root 5 over 5, which is 3.1 metres per second to two significant figures. OK, so that is the speed uh, of particle A after it's travelled seven metres.